I just found the jackpot of lion's mane mushrooms. This is lion's mane Heresium arenaceus. This is a wonderful edible and medicinal mushroom that grows on hardwood trees in the late summer to fall months. You can even find it growing into early winter in some of the warmer regions like Western North Carolina. This mushroom grows on dying or dead hardwood trees and it has an affinity for oak and beech. I found this mushroom growing on a beech tree in an oak and beech forest. Sometimes you'll find the mushrooms going really high up in the tree and you might need a really long uh, ladder or a saw so you can get it from like 15 feet up. But you might have to climb for your lion's mane. But fortunately for me, this is a down beech tree, so it's sideways. This lion's mane is roughly at eye level. In the early stages, lion's mane can resemble a big marshmallow or a cluster of marshmallows growing on the sides of trees. But as it matures, the spines begin to take form. When it's fully mature, the lion's mane spines will look like icicles dripping down from the mushroom. The spines can get to about three inches in length, and as the mushroom starts to go bad, the spines will start to turn yellow. And if you want to take a spore print of this mushroom, the spores, like the mushroom, is white. There are no poisonous lookalikes of this mushroom. However, there are three varieties of the Heresium genus in this region, and those are the true lion's mane, Heresium arenaceus, bear's head tooth mushroom, which is Heresium americanum, now bear's head tooth is very similar to the true lion's mane, except its spines can actually go in different branches, whereas the true lion's mane is more compact and it all forms from one, one branch. The true lion's mane can form in clusters, but it doesn't branch off. The comb tooth mushroom is the most different of the Heresium genus, and it branches off even more, going in different directions. So when you're harvesting lion's mane, you can either use your hand to just rock it away from the tree, or you can use a knife to cut it off. And <clears throat> some people argue about, you know, you have to cut it or you have to hand pick it, but I think it doesn't make too much of a difference because the mycelium inside the tree is still intact and no damage. You're just harvesting the fruiting body. So, you know, I've harvested it with my hand before and it grew right back. I've also harvested it with my knife before and it grew right back a week later. So I don't think it makes too much of a difference in the long run. While lion's mane is an excellent edible mushroom, it also has a whole host of medicinal properties. This mushroom has been shown to boost brain function, mental focus, and it even contains nerve growth factors that can help repair neural networks and the myelin sheaths in the brain. It's also been shown to be anti-inflammatory and could have some effect on improving mood, specifically depression and anxiety. There are numerous scientific studies and anecdotal research out there, so I recommend that you do your own research and look into the benefits of this mushroom. I have teas on my website that combine lion's mane with other brain-boosting herbs like ginkgo and Siberian ginseng and lemongrass. Now at this stage, you can either eat the mushroom or you could dehydrate it for use in teas and tinctures. If I find a lot of it, I usually do a mix of both. Lion's mane is a coveted choice edible mushroom. They have a crab-like texture with a slight seafood taste. They're very absorbent like a sponge and kind of soak up any flavor that's in the dish. I've made lion's mane into burgers. I've added them to pizza. I've made stir fries with them, ramen, and many other dishes. And I've also heard of people using lion's mane to make a really good crab cake. I can't wait to try that. Today we're going to make a stir fry with lion's mane, teriyaki, rice noodles.
This lion's mane looks delicious. Mmm. Really good.